I got every workout from 1983 until 1997. Every single workout, every rep, every set. Preparation notes for Mr. Olympia and all these things. This worked, this didn't work. So very analytical, writing everything, analyzing, studying. His training diary was his life, and that was him. He knew if he followed X, it would equal Y, and, it, and that's what's been proven. He totally believed what he was doing was right. He had no doubts. That's half the battle. If you believe in something, you, you can make it happen. Blood and guts is just to the level where no one's willing to go. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. Turn the body inside out, no matter what it takes. He wasn't going to stop. He was a train. I'm not a morning person. I'm dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. So how do you feel about this year's Olympia and different divisions? How did you feel about men's open and, and big Rami winning? Um, what did you feel about that? Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Uh, first of all, me, uh, Phil and I really kind of kind of close. And I really wanted Phil to get the eighth. Um, and actually, I was backstage with Phil. Um, but Rami brought the game to the table. I mean, I always thought Rami couldn't wean himself down enough to win the Olympia and because he has so much mass. And more mass you have, it's harder to get lean. Everyone knows it's more mass, it's harder to get lean. Thin guys can be lean all day long. But Rami has what it takes. He just – his thing was not being lean enough. But this year, you saw it on stage. There was no, it was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You can't even deny it. You know, he was hard. He was focused. Um, Dennis James had him in a posing routine. Um, not Dennis James. Uh, was it? His, was his posing coach? Well, Dennis James, yeah. And he, he said it. He looked, Rami, if you want to win, you're you going to pose till you, till, till you drop. And don't tell me you're tired. Don't tell me this, that, nothing. And that's what it was. He needed someone to push him. And he found that push through, through Dennis. And at the same time, all the struggle that he had to go through to get to this. So I guess, you know, the creator was seeing how much do you really want this, Ron, Ron Rami? How much do you really want this? And he went through the worst part of his life last six months to achieve the most thing he wanted for the past seven years that he couldn't get. So he got it. And it was, attain it was attainable. And he, he achieved it. But he, he looked the part in it, hands down. And I, I guarantee you, Phil and, 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 and Brandon was like, oh, he got it, bro. He, he got it. They, I bet it was like, there was no, no question. When he did that side chest with his legs, he got to. You can't help but see it. I mean, it, I could see if it was like, I don't know. No, you knew. When you stand beside him, you saw it up there, you're like, okay, wow, Rami bringing his A, triple A game. Not just his A game, his triple A game. You've never seen Rami like that before. It's interesting because Rami is always obviously the top contender, but it wasn't like he was – you know, people were discussing these shirts Olympia. Obviously, the, the spotlight was on Phil and Brandon, you know. Uh, Rami was not, like, mm -hmm. in the conversation. Like, he's, you know what I mean? Because he's always the, you know, the top five guy, you know what I mean? But, like, it wasn't like he's getting it. He's getting it this year, you know what I'm saying? It was more, most, most of it was on Brandon and um, on Phil, of course. You know, Dexter as well. Because yeah. his, his track record, his track record showed that. His track record showed Rami can never get hard enough. So the past five, six years, it's been the same Rami kind of like uh, give, take, give, take, give, take. Whereas you see the field kind of like he fell off. With, well, Angus, he fell off. He lost to Sean, which is, which is a phenomenal physique also. He lost to Sean, but Phil has seven years of hardcore runners. Of course, that's a top contender. Brandon just won last year. He's a top contender. And Rami was always in the back trying to get it right. So, yeah, of course, they're not going to talk about him as much because these other guys are more of a top contender than anyone else, especially Hadi Chupan, who won third, uh, third came in third, and then you're talking about, um, then you're talking about um, William Bonac, who which they wasn't really talking about him, but he was second to Brandon. So these guys are already ahead than Rami, you know, in the past history showing his track record. So, of course, they, they, you know, they wasn't really talking about him because it, um, he's going to do, they, they're thinking he's going to do the exact same thing, working by that size. And, and again, they, they, they under, I guess they underestimate He did what he's supposed to do because it's not, it's not about what they do. It's about what you do. And you can't say they underestimate it. It's regardless what they say or they do. It's what you do.
And that's what Romney showed. It's what you do. They can do all they want to do. Phil can do what he want to do. Brandon can do what he want to do. William can do what he want to do. Holly can do what he want to do. But you do what you're supposed to do. That's all you need to worry about. That's all you need to worry about. You can't worry about them. <laughs> so you being Phil's friend, um, yeah. what, what advice would you give him right now? Do you, do you feel like he should come back next year and try to get it back? Or do you feel um, like he's going to uh, retire? What do you think? I'm a, I, 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 I just would say he would do what his heart desires. I, I, that's what I would say to him, man, because, you know, Phil have so many things going on. Is, and to me, to you tell him what he should do, is and I, I don't do that. It's what you want to do. And everyone's control their destiny. I could tell you what I would love for you to do, but I wouldn't put my opinion on him like that. You know, whatever you decide to do, I got your back. <laughs> whatever you decide to do, I got your back. And that's how I am. I don't, I don't try to get into other people's stuff too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not that guy, uh, cast my opinion, strong opinion to, to make you feel uncomfortable in the way how I'm thinking. If I think a certain way, I'm gonna keep it to myself. That's cool. Uh, I, I'm okay with that. Same thing with people, you know, telling me, you know, I got so many things I'm doing. It's totally relevant what you think about what I'm doing. It, it really is because you don't have no input unless you, you know, write me a, a million dollar check. <laughs> then I can kind of like listen to what you say. But other than that, you know, it's, it's totally relevant how you think I feel towards what I'm doing or what I'm saying or whatever. That's that just that just me. You know, again, I'm about 50 years old, so the rhetoric, I, I, rhetoric doesn't 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 move move or shape.